Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. Asyadu ala ilaha illallah wa daula syarikalah wa asyadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh amabad. Para pemirsa Ilham TV yang dirahmati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kita kali ini akan menyaksikan video Dr. Zakir Naik. Dakwah Dr. Zakir Naik. Dan seperti biasanya, beliau selalu menyampaikan argumen-argumen yang sangat logis dalam setiap dakwahnya. Kali ini ada seorang penanya yang bernama Patrick. Dia menganggap Yesus itu adalah sebagai Tuhan karena Yesus hanya dilahirkan dari seorang ibu tanpa ayah. Lalu bagaimana jawaban dari Dr. Zakir Naik? Mari kita simak jawaban beliau berikut ini. Next question over here. Hi, yes. My name is Patrick. I'm a student at Centennial College. My question is, in Islam it says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not the Son of God. When we are all children of Allah and born of mother and father, for he is only born of a mother, why is he not the Son of God? But Patrick asked a very good question, a very important question. He said that why in Islam is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, not considered a son of God? When we all are children of God, he being born of a virgin woman, all the more reason should be. See, brother, if you tell we are children of God, in that way I've got no problem at all. If you read the biblical language, if you say that we are children of God and Jesus is son of God, in that context, meaning he is person who follows the commandment of God most verily, all the messengers of God, they are sons of God. But the problem is, if someone says he is not a normal son, but he is the begotten son, then there is a problem. Because if you read the Bible, the Bible have got sons, the God has got sons by the tons. If you read the Bible, Adam is son of God, Ephraim is son of God, Israel is son of God. It's mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter number 8. All those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. That means if you follow the commandment of God, you are a son of God. I've got no problem with that phrase at all. But today, that phrase has been misunderstood. You know, for example, if a young son asked me a question, I said, Beta, son, it's a very good question. He won't mind because I'm elderly, you know. But if I say that begotten son, that means I'm insinuating him. You know, maybe he'll punch me. Fine. But what do you realize? That using the phrase son of God, in the context that we are children of God, we have no problem. So in that context, all the human beings who follow the commandments of God can be called children of God. No problem. But what the Christian says, that no, 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 Jesus Christ, peace, but it's not a normal son. And he quotes the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Correct, brother? So do you believe Jesus is the begotten son of God? I do. You believe? Fine. Now this verse which I quoted, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, it's from King James Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now when you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by Thaidu scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different cooperating Christian denominations, they say that this word begotten is an interpolation, it's a fabrication, it's a concoction, it's an adulteration. Who's saying? Not Muslims, not Hindus. Thaidu Christian scholars of the highest eminence in the revised standard version of the Bible, they say begotten is an interpolation. It's a fabrication. It's a concoction. And they're thrown out of the Bible. So if you say Jesus is son of God, like Adam, like Ephraim, like Israel, I have no problem. The moment you say begotten, I want to ask you the question, what is the meaning of begotten? Brother, what is the meaning of begotten? You know, begetting is an animal act. It's the function of lower animals of sex. And when you say that he was born to Mother Mary, virgin, what are you insinuating? And if you say, because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God, or son of God, because he was born to Mother Mary, Quran gives the reply in Sulaiman, 
chapter number 3 verse number 59 inna mathala isa indallahi kama mathala adam khalaqa min turab thumma qala lahu kun fayakun that when they say the similitude of jesus in front of allah is the same as adam they were born from dust and said be and it was if you say that jesus christ is god because he had no father and only mother then adam peace be upon him is a greater god he had no mother and no father according to the bible <laughs> mashallah you're clapping i like it so if you say jesus is god because he had no father only mother adam is a greater god peace be upon him he had no mother he had no father i never referred to him as a god but son of god that's right fine so adam is a bigger son of god <laughs> right or wrong by your definition adam would be a god for he has no mother nor no father not my definition not my definition by the definition of the christian missionary by my definition he is a messenger of god because god cannot beget i told you in my talk lam yalid wa lam yulad he begets not nor is he begotten the moment god begets he is not god son of god meaning pious person i agree that the reason allah subhanahu wa taala in the quran in 99 attributes he has missed out ab father why it's a good attribute but allah did not mention ab meaning father because people started having wrong meaning of the word father so he used the more difficult word rab but did not use ab logically it's fine but almighty allah subhanahu wa taala purposely did not use attribute ab in the quran because people will misunderstand that there is an english wise saying jesus is the son of god meaning messenger of god i'm with you but the moment you say begotten son i have objection so you say jesus is a messenger of god i say peace be upon him after his name so i respect jesus christ peace be upon him more than you brother patrick because when i take his name i have to say peace be upon him if i do not say that i'm wrong so i love jesus christ peace be upon him more than you i follow his teaching more than you and if you want i can prove it to you that's a different argument not for tonight sorry sorry, sorry? that's a different argument and not for okay, tonight okay fine i'll i'll give you a few things jesus christ peace be upon him fine if you read the bible he was circumcised on the 8th day fine majority of all the muslims are circumcised the christians aren't so if you say christian means a person who follows the teachings of jesus christ peace be upon him then it's mentioned in the book of leviticus chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8 it's mentioned in the book of deuteronomy chapter 14 verse number, verse number 8 you should not have pork it's mentioned in the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse number 2 to 5 should not have pork muslim don't have pork most of the christians have pork if you read the book of ephesians chapter number 5 verse number 18 in the book of proverbs chapter number 20 verse number 1 it says you should not have alcohol muslims as a whole don't have alcohol most of the christians have alcohol if you say christian means a person who follows the teachings of jesus christ peace be upon him we muslims are more christian than the christian them we love him we respect him if you say i love jesus christ peace be upon him and don't follow his teachings your love is false we therefore mashallah i love jesus christ peace be upon him more than most of the christians because i follow his teachings i respect him i revere him and jesus christ also said in the gospel of john chapter number 16 verse number 11 to 14 i have many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he was talking about prophet muhammad to come so jesus christ peace be upon him said you have to believe in the last and final messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so even that way i'm following jesus christ peace be upon him i believe in prophet muhammad do you believe in prophet muhammad as the messenger of god i do mashallah now you're more close to
Itulah dakwah Dr. Zakir Naik yang sudah kita saksikan bersama dan luar biasa apa yang disampaikan oleh beliau selalu mampu menjawab dengan lukas dan masuk akal. Dan di akhir video kita saksikan tadi saudara Patrick akhirnya bersyahadat masuk Islam. Semoga Allah memberikan beliau keistiqomahan. Baiklah sampai di sini dulu perjumpaan kita. Sekiranya video ini bermanfaat memberikan Anda inspirasi yang besar membuat Anda semakin istiqomah di dalam Islam, silakan jangan sungkan-sungkan untuk klik like, share dan subscribe channel Ilham TV. Sampai jumpa pada video berikutnya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.